watching Beyond Grenade today, and today we're gonna talk about something that is very common with us curly natural girls, which is product buildup. Now, if you do have product buildup, don't be ashamed. It's a very normal, common thing. It happens to the best of us. So I'm gonna tell you how to get rid of it and what to do to make sure it doesn't come back. The first thing I want to mention is there is a difference between having dandruff and product buildup. Dandruff is actually a scalp condition that is like a buildup on our hair that's actually created by yeast and is a type of eczema. Having dandruff is a little bit harder to get rid of than product buildup. Product buildup is literally just a buildup of the products that we use. Dandruff usually is a large, actual flakes that you will find on your hair. If you see flakes and they might even be like a yellowish color, it's probably dandruff. Where product buildup is more of like a powdery white residue that you will see on your hair. In order to get rid of dandruff or product buildup, there are some DIY things you could do. Some people use baking soda, some people use apple cider vinegar, and some even use Listerine. I have tried the apple cider vinegar and the Listerine rinse, which although it works, it just smells so bad. It's always hard for me to actually do it because I just never feel like smelling bad. And I'm very big on smells. It could be the best thing in the world, but if it smells bad, I'm not really that into it. So I don't do it that often. But today I'm actually glad to announce an alternative option, which is the Diva Curl Build Up Buster. I'm so excited to announce that this is something that does actually work and gets rid of my product buildup. And I'm going to demonstrate this for you in this video. So you will see my before product buildup and then we will take a shower and then we will see the after results on how well it did. Now the first thing you might be thinking is, well, what's the difference between this and a shampoo? Like isn't a shampoo supposed to be cleansing our scalp? Yes, it does. And using a good type of cleansing shampoo will definitely get rid of product buildup. But the special thing about this is it has a micellular water cleansing serum, which is just a fancy way of saying that it has something in it that actually attracts dirt. So it's literally pulling the dirt and product buildup from our scalp. So it's supposed to get that extra clean that maybe a shampoo might be missing. This also has Abyssinian seed oil, which is supposed to moisturize, boost shine, and actually protect the scalp. And it also has jojoba oil, which is one of my favorite oils to use, which will soften and condition our curls, and will also make sure that our scalp doesn't remain dry. So without further ado, let me actually show you the product buildup that I currently have. Yes, my hair is not flawless. And then we will apply this in the shower and see how well it does. All right, so this is gonna get a little gross, but I mean, you decided to click on this video, not me. So th this is the real deal, okay? This is my product buildup. As you can see, my scalp is dry and there's little white little flakes just falling all over the place. This is probably because I used some hairspray and it's just time to wash it. So it's, it's, it's normal, but needs to go. Alrighty, let's wash away all this product buildup and get rid of this itchy, dry scalp. So I'm going to be washing my hair and I'm going to do a slight kind of scalp massage to loosen up the product that might be in there and just remove as much as we can even before the product. Now I'm gonna grab my Diva Curl Build Up Buster and I love that it has this nozzle. The nozzle makes it really easy to actually apply the product straight to your scalp. So now I'm making sure that I'm really getting in there and I'm applying the product directly to any and all problem areas. And now I'm gonna make sure to get a very good scalp massage. This is going to pick up any of the product that might be stuck to our scalp, move it around, loosen it up, and this actually is gonna help with some hair growth. If you have a healthy scalp that's not dry, you're gonna be seeing some more growth. And since this is actually going to be replacing our shampoo, I'm going to add a little bit more to my actual hair just to make sure that everything is clean and then we're going to rinse it out. I'm now gonna grab my Diva Curl One Condition Decadence Conditioner and I like to apply this straight onto my actual length of my hair and this will help me detangle. I usually have to use a brush but I notice that when I really rub in the product, it is a little bit easier for me to finger detangle most of the knots away. And then I'm going to just simply rinse this all out and then my hair will be beautiful, shiny, and good to go. And we're back, fresh out the shower. So now let's check my scalp and see how well it did. Oh yes, so much better. No more product buildup. I am happy with the results. 
Now, one little tip that will actually help you to avoid product buildup that I learned from Lisette, AKA Lissetti on YouTube, which is to apply the product more to your hair and not really on your scalp. I mean, your curls are what we want to be defined, so this is where we should focus all of our product. Using about that much and applying it to my hair. So now that you know how to get rid of the product buildup, let's talk about what you should do to make sure it doesn't really come back. Now besides this product working very well, it's also not that hard for me to get rid of my product buildup because I personally like to use products that are sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. I know you guys hear those three magic words all the time. They're not just slept on bottles for fun. They actually are very relevant to the health of your hair. But the main one you want to remember when it comes to buildup is silicone. Silicone will give you amazing slip but there is a huge consequence, which is the buildup that it will leave on your hair. Not only will silicone products make it really easy for you to get buildup, but it's also hard to remove it. And guess how you remove silicone buildup? By rinsing it out with sulfate. You literally have to use something bad to get rid of the bad. So now you just have bad on top of bad and your hair is not going to be good. Which leads to my third point, which would be when you do have your second, third, fourth, fifth day hair, how long is you could milk it, don't apply too much product. You already have your base on day one, all the product that you really need. So when you refresh your curls, you just need a little bit of product. I put a little bit on top to get my flyaways, but the rest of your hair is pretty much good if you do have a good working product. Now, another thing to keep in mind when you are worried about product buildup is how you're washing your hair. I know many of us curly girls are very team co-wash. You just have your co-wash, you only use conditioner, you never use shampoo, which may work for some people, but I personally never really got into the whole co-washing thing. I always use a shampoo and conditioner because I think you need something that's actually going to clean your hair, clean your scalp, and then you condition with your conditioner. Now, some co-washing products actually claim to cleanse and condition your hair which might work, I just haven't found any favorites personally. So if you're someone that only co-washes and you're getting a lot of product build, you might wanna consider bringing back a shampoo at least every other week, but just make sure it's sulfate free. And last but not least would be obviously how often you wash your hair. I wash my hair every four to five days, depending on how long I could milk my curls. But even if my curls look fine, my scalp is usually my first indication on, hey, it's wash day, we got some build up, we're dry, please wash us, and then I do. So I will say that all the products that I use and review on my channel are sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. And luckily the entire Diva Curl collection is 100% sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. And it says that right on the front of all of their bottles, which I love. Now the Diva Curl Build Up Buster is available on their website, divacurl.com. I also see Diva products at Sephora. So just like all the Diva Curl products, they're not the cheapest ones on the market. This one is $28, but if you already buy Diva products, you know that. And if you have a no poo, this would be replacing your shampoo. So maybe next time you run out of your shampoo, you could give this a try instead. If you found this video helpful, I hope that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday. And make sure to follow me on all social media at Ms. Bianca Renee on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, where I give you guys all the behind the scenes and you'll be the first to know about anything that I ever try in my hair. So I will see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.